and you might have seen these devices before depending on how they use they either call their resistors rheostats or potentiometers okay, so how does a rheostat work first we've got a coil of wire wrapped around the cylinder and then we've got a sliding contact which can move left and right okay, then you've got a terminal here and here which you're going to connect a battery across like this so the current will flow down this way and it will flow through this coil of wire until it reaches the contact at which point it will flow up this way and down this way so you can see the current has to flow through all of this okay, and then that provides a resistance now if I slide this contact all the way to the right if I slide it all the way down to here so ignore this the current would have to flow through more of the coils so that means the resistance would increase okay so as shown here in this diagram so as you can see if you slide to the left there's very little resistance because it doesn't have to go through much but if you slide to the right it has to go through all those coils and the resistance increases now there is a terminal c but you don't need to know what that's used for the circuit shown below is used to investigate the iv characteristics of an 8 ohm fixed resistor the rheostat with a maximum resistance of 16 ohms is used to vary the current and pd across a resistor calculate the maximum and the minimum current and pd across the 8 ohm resistor the cell has negligible internal resistance so you can see this here is the variable resistor or the rheostat i'm going to look what happens when i connect it to different points along that rheostat so if i connect it over here the current will just go down this way and through without even going through the coil of wire so this would have zero ohms resistance so let's do the math behind that that was actually going to give us the maximum current because well we the current won't have to go through any of the resistance of the resistor so we can just do all the potential difference will be across this this would have zero ohms um, so the current will be 12 volts divided by 8 ohms that gives us a maximum current of 1.5 amps and all the voltage here is going to be 12 volts so it's going to be a, a v max 12 volts okay now let's look what happens when it's connected at the other end like this so now it has to flow through this whole coil giving us a total resistance of 16 ohms so now i can calculate the minimum current okay the minimum current in the circuit is going to be the total voltage divided by the total resistance is going to be 16 plus the 8 ohms that gives us a current of 0 0.5 amps flowing around the whole circuit to figure out the pd across the 8 ohm resistor i can just do that's a minimum the current 0 0.5 times 8 ohms and that gives us 4 volts minimum across that 8 ohm resistor okay this is also a variable resistor you change the resistance by spinning this point here okay so what that does is you've got a coil of wire here and you've got a sliding contact and that sliding contact can, can move left and right or clockwise and anti-clockwise you've got a terminal a here you've got a terminal b which you'll be using and we're going to connect a power supply like this so as shown here the current is going to flow around this way it's going to go through this coil of wire down through the sliding contact this way and that way so if you spin this sliding contact towards the right it will increase the resistance because you'll have to go through more of the coil again there is a terminal c which we don't need to worry about okay the diagram shows a filament bulb connected in series with a variable resistor and cell the internal resistance of the cell is negligible explain what happens to the brightness of the lamp okay so that's to do with power when the sliding contact x is moved from a to point b okay so when it's connected at point a like this you can think the current is flowing down this way going straight through a without even going through the coil of wire okay so it's going to go around like that so in this case the resistance of the circuit is going to be minimum so the current is going to be maximum also all the voltage in the circuit is going to be across the filament bulb v okay as you move it from a to b now the current has to flow through this whole coil okay and then back down this way so firstly the total resistance of the circuit is going to increase so that means the total current in the circuit is going to decrease also the voltage across this is going to go up and the voltage across this is going to go up so both effects decrease the voltage and current across the bulb so it's going to be less bright okay so to summarize as the contact is moved from a to b the resistance of the circuit increases so the total total resistance of the circuit increases and the current in the circuit decreases 
the potential difference of the variable resistor increases and the potential difference across the bulb decreases. Because power is equal to current times voltage, both current and PD are decreasing, so the power and therefore the brightness of the bulb will decrease. It will become dimmer.